Okay, so let's take a look at this one. We're going to take the linear expression and we're going to express one of the variables in terms of the other. So the best thing to do is just get y by itself. So I'm going to have y on the right-hand side and that's equal to 4x plus 3. And then I'm going to sub this value of y into the nonlinear expression. So I have x squared minus, and then y is now 4x plus 3 squared. And let that equal to 0. So we have x squared minus, now keep a big bracket here while we square out the bracket. 4x all to be squared is 16x squared. 3 all to be squared is 9 plus 9. And then twice the product is 4x by 3 is 12x times 2 is 24x. And this is equal to 0. So x squared minus 16x squared minus 24x minus 9. And because we changed the signs of all those terms, that's why it was needed just to have that big bracket. Uh, and that's equal to 0. We have minus 15x squared minus 24x minus 9 equals 0. And just to simplify the quadratic before we try and factorize it, I'm going to divide across by minus 3. And I get 5x squared plus 8x plus 3 equals 0. So I should be able to factorize this. If I can't, I can always use the minus b formula. So we have 5x and x, 3 and 1. And then the inner two is 3x and the outer two give us 5x and plus 3x plus 5x is plus 8x. I'm going to let each bracket equal 0. So 5x plus 3 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. If x plus 1 equals 0, well, x is just minus 1. And if 5x plus 3 equals 0, we'll subtract the 3 from both sides to get 5x equals minus 3. Divide both sides by 5 to get us x is minus 3 over 5. And these are the two x values that satisfy this simultaneous equation. To find the two y values, we're going to write our linear equation again. So we'll write the rearranged linear equation rather than the original because this has y on its own. I'm going to sub in x equals minus 3 over 5. And I get y is equal to 4 times minus 3 over 5 plus 3. So y is equal to minus 12 over 5 plus 3. So y is equal to, now minus 12 over 5 plus 3. And 3 is actually 15 over 5. So minus 12 plus 15 is 3. And that's over 5. So our answer when x equals minus 3 fifths y is equal to plus 3 fifths and that's one set of solutions. Now we're going to sub in x equals minus 1 and we have y equals 4 on minus 1 plus 3 y is equal to 4 times minus 1 is minus 4 plus 3 so y is equal to minus 1 and so when x is minus 1 y is minus 1 and these are the two um, sets of solutions minus 3 over 5, 3 over 5, and minus 1, minus 1.